Hi everybody and welcome to this short video about Socrative. Now I'm not going to go into too much depth today because I'm really hoping that you will take the opportunity to explore at your own pace, but I'm going to give you a bit of an overview of the teacher view of Socrative so you can see how everything works. Now when you first log in, the most important thing to realise is that there are two different pages depending on what you want to do. So when you want to launch an activity, so when you've walked into the classroom and you're ready to, to use Socrative with students, you're going to be using the launch page. Whereas when you want to build quizzes and you want to create content for students, you're going to be using the quizzes tab along the top. You'll also see that there are rooms, reports and results. The room here is customising what you want your room to be called. So when students log in, a great thing about Socrative is they don't need to have um, lots and lots and lots of information in order to access a room. It just asks them to type in their teacher's room name. So I made mine shut up to make it nice and easy for my students. Okay. Um, the next page here is reports, so you can always go back and download a spreadsheet of student reports which is really powerful it's great to do before interviews and this last one here it will show you if you have an activity that's currently running with your students so if you're still collecting data you will see this little icon here tells us that we are live and to finish something you just click that finish button there okay and I'm going to go back to the launch page so that gives you an overview of these now with your launch page here there are a few different activities that you can run so when you're in class and you want to ask a quick question, that is this one down the bottom. If you've used Poll Everywhere before, this is very similar. It's just a matter of clicking it, asking them a true or false question on the board, and you're then going to get their responses very quickly. And this is really powerful instant data from students. Okay. If you would like to ask them some questions before they leave the room, you know, but at the end of the lesson you want to see what they've learnt that lesson. Exit tickets are my absolute favourite tool within Socrative. And you can see that I've had to prepare absolutely nothing for this, I've just clicked exit ticket. And when students log on and they enter your room code, they'll see three questions. The first is how well did you understand today's material? What did you learn in today's class? And then the last one here is just the teacher's question. And this is where you would write a question on the board, something specific to that lesson, and it's really testing their knowledge of whether they learned what you were teaching them that day. Okay. Here we go. Go back to the launch page. These here, so quiz operates very much like a survey monkey or a Google Doc, if you've used those before. And to create quizzes, you need to use the quizzes bar here. So using this one here, clicking add a quiz, you can either create or import. And if we click create here, you can see that you get three options of questions. You can ask the multiple choice, true or false, or short answer. Um, and it's really powerful too because you can auto mark these as well. So when typing in a multiple choice question, you can decide which of those is correct and Socrative will auto mark that for you. All right, let's just go back to launch if it will let us. Save and exit. Brilliant. So that is, we've got quick question, exit ticket and quiz. And this last one here is space race. This is a lot of fun. Students love this. It's exactly the same as a quiz, except they're doing it in groups and they're competing against one another. And what's really great is when you conduct a space race, you pick your quiz, here we go. We are going to have two teams. The icon is going to be the rocket today. No countdown. And we're going to give question feedback. So you can see here that when we do this, you put students into your teams and they then work together to answer the questions in the quiz. And depending on both the accuracy of their answers and the speed of their answers, their rockets will move across the page. And obviously they're competing to get their rocket across to the other side the fastest. So that is a general explanation of Socrative. I recommend having a play with all of the different tools and really experimenting with your class and hearing what they say about it as well. Good luck everybody.